tomorrow is a 48 first alert weather day. I'll stay weather alert, especially tomorrow night. It's going to be after 9 o'clock. I made some adjustments here just uh, in the last five minutes was able to look at the latest forecast guidance. So some of it is some good news. However, we still have a threat of severe weather, but it may come to an end sooner in some areas and quickly turn into a heavy rain event. The higher threat of the outbreak of severe weather and higher impact tornado threat is to our southwest, but we're going to watch that. It doesn't mean we won't have tornadoes here because there's a lot of wind shear coming through with the line of storms. It's moving in as well. Here are the weather headlines strong to severe storms Friday after 9 p.m. So most of the day it's just going to get windier and windier, breezy and rolling that pollen around too. Uh, that severe weather threat ends Saturday morning between three and four o'clock in the morning. So overall, I think it's it's just an overnight event. It's one of those we're accustomed to that around here. We'll be watching it every step of the way. Damaging winds, heavy rain are expected, although the damaging winds will be isolated. It's not going to be like the last wind event we had where it was just windy for hours upon hours. A strong tornado is a possibility, mainly on the southern fringes of the viewing area where there's more instability. You can find us on all of our digital platforms, our news and weather apps, and even the like the Roku app, Fire Stick app. Apple TV app. There's so many ways to watch now, and you can also find us live here on our Facebook page, on our YouTube page, and you're going to want to search for WAFF News and Weather for that live YouTube feed. Again, you can find us just about anywhere and our radio partners as well. Here's the severe timeline. This hasn't changed a lot. The shape of it's changed a little bit because I think we're going to see an initial squall line move across the northwest corner of the state. It quickly become rain cooled and then a secondary surge of energy comes in between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. in orange and then in yellow 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. We're going to be watching these areas closely because there have been signs that we could see an increase in the intensity as that moves east of I-65 and in the mountainous terrain. Here's six o'clock tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours, maybe out getting ready for spring break, maybe getting off spring break, or maybe it's just been a long, hard week at the office. It's going to be nice to get outside in the warmer air. Here's a look about 10 to 11 o'clock. Notice the change. It's more widespread here. Heavy rainfall looks to be the main threat here, but again, if we have a tornado watch issued, that'll be that risk there as well. Notice here by midnight, this is faster moving too, which kind of accelerates the wind speed as well with this initial round, even down to Coleman and Joppa, and still more activity back to the west here of Smith Lake, that quickly moving northeast. Notice it's still raining in some of these areas from Athens, Decatur to Moulton, but by two o'clock, this should just be fairly benign thunderstorms, kind of that residual thunder and lightning after the initial round of severe weather by three o'clock, four o'clock. It's gone. Saturday's turning out to be a pretty nice day. Winds will be southwest, by the way, at around 15 miles per hour in some areas. Here's six o'clock or so in northeast Alabama up to Fayetteville and Winchester in Tennessee. The clouds move in. The wind picks up out of the south at 20, gusting to near 40 miles per hour. Threat of severe weather moves in just before 11 o'clock or just before midnight. Notice the positive, this big line here, the purple here, by one o'clock in the morning, intense rain, heavy wind, and then by three o'clock, this may start to come to an end a little earlier. We keep the clock running here by five o'clock. It's out of here. Rain on the roof forecast. We still have that chance of rain on Sunday, but I've lowered it quite a bit. And Monday, I've just taken it out. I think we're going to get a nice stretch of weather into next week with temperatures a lot better than they were this past week to begin the week. That's for sure. But stay weather alert. Whatever happens tomorrow night, we will be here to keep you up to date. Overall, it's about 24 hours away, so mm -hmm. there will be some more changes to that forecast. Nine Eric Burke's got your next forecast in the morning. Nine times out of ten, I feel like these things come at night. You know, I know and it seems that way. What is that's the kind deal? of the worst thing in the middle of the night? Make the weather ready. This is why you got to have weather radio. Yeah. Or hopefully your your app is going to mm -hmm. wake you up mm -hmm. in the middle of the night. Sometimes they're on silent and they don't. Yeah. So we want you to stay weather alert right. tomorrow. Well,